Well, Sol Paddington was incorporated over 140 years ago as a uh, chemist on Pitt Street in Sydney. Uh, the pharmacy operations performed very well and they eventually were listed on the Stock Exchange in 1903. Uh, today, uh, WHSP is the second oldest listed company in Australia. Uh, the current chairman, Robert Milner, is the fourth generation of family members to lead the company. And um, we have a market capitalisation of $3.8 billion, making us uh, one of Australia's uh, largest 100 companies and we have a diversified suite of assets across a range of different industries. So the original uh, chemist uh, operations started reinvesting the profits into a range of different industries uh, and they became very savvy investors adopting a very uh, value-driven conservative approach spreading their risk amongst a number of different assets and um, uh, taking a long-term approach we've adopted those uh, tried and true methods of investing which have been very successful over a long period of time and we continue to uh, invest in the same style. Uh, once we made the investments, we tend to try to add value to those investments by encouraging them to, to grow with uh, access to capital uh, and through M&A. So if you look at some of our largest investments like Brickworks, New Hope and uh, TPG, they've all been uh, very successful in making a lot of very uh, high growth acquisitions along the way. Uh, we have a very disciplined approach to making investments. We don't make a large number of investments, but they tend to be uh, few and far between and they're, they're highly concentrated. Uh, we have a very active board uh, who uh, look at the, uh, each, each new investment opportunity. Um, we build up a lot of industry knowledge. We find good quality companies with solid management uh, and we try to buy at the uh, cheapest possible price. Uh, we're also assisted by the fact that we have our own investment bank, Pitt Capital Partners, uh, who uh, not only uh, assist us to assess the opportunities, but also assist in the generation of deal flow. Uh, the highlight for the half year was the cash flow generation from our portfolio, uh, which is our dividend and interest income. Uh, that was up 25% uh, on the prior year. Uh, it's that figure that we look at uh, when we declare dividends. Um, in addition to the cash generation, the, the share price and the portfolio itself uh, grew quite rapidly. Uh, for the 12 months to 31 January, uh, the total shareholder return was up 34%. Uh, in that same period, the All Ordinaries Accumulation Index was down 4.7%. Uh, so it's quite a lot of uh, outperformance in the last 12 months. Um, but uh, despite that being you know, obviously a very good outcome, uh, more important to us is the long-term performance of the business. And over the last 15 years, the, um, the compound annual growth uh, of the company has been 14%, uh, which is about double what the index has returned over that period. Uh, the interim dividend this year is 21 cents, which is up 5% on the previous year. Uh, and pleasingly, that extends uh, Sol Pattinson's uh, long history of paying increased dividends. And we're one of only two companies in the All Ordinaries who have increased dividends every year for the last 15 years. So at the end of the half, our uh, total assets uh, were 5.4 billion pre-tax. Uh, about 82% of that portfolio was in our top seven uh, major strategic investments. Uh, and then of the remaining 18%, which is roughly a billion dollars, uh, most of that is uh, comprised of uh, blue chip ASX listed companies, about $630 million invested in the market, which is a highly liquid portfolio and uh, we can access that, um, that portfolio for new investment opportunities. Uh, we also have about $280 million invested in private equity and property. Well, the star performer is clearly uh, TPG. It's now our biggest investment uh, and uh, accounts for about 40% of our portfolio. Uh, when we merged our company with TPG in 2008, the combined market capitalisation was under $250 million. Today that business is worth $9.8 billion uh, and our shares were $2.4 billion. So it's been a, a very impressive uh, journey for us. Uh, in terms of our exposure to resources, we have uh, about 15% of our portfolio in New Hope Corporation, which is uh, exposed to the coal cycle. Uh, we believe strongly in the, the return of the coal cycle, and uh, New Hope's just recently um, made a, a quite a large acquisition of uh, an interest in Bengala, a coal mine in the Hunter Valley, uh, for $850 million, which is one of Australia's best thermal coal assets. But the markets are very volatile and as I mentioned, the, uh, we still have uh, quite a lot of exposure to the downturn in the coal cycle. Um, but uh, our other major investments such as uh, TPG, API and Brickworks are growing very, very strongly. And uh, we believe that we'll continue to uh, perform in this very difficult time.